What's going on, guys? Welcome to our buy, hold, and sell for the roster update coming up tomorrow. First up, we're going to be talking about Jaron Duran, one of the silvers that we probably can suspect goes gold. It is confirmed there will be offensive hitting attributes, pitching attributes going up, not just fielding and speed. So Jaron Duran, I think, goes gold. However, plus six is what he would need to be at a 1500 quick sell price. So Jaron Duran, since the last roster update, batting 308 with six home runs and an additional nine extra base hits with an ISO of 319. Definitely can see him get boosted. I don't know if he gets plus six. I mean, it could happen. I'm just saying, honestly, I would just sell now for 1800 stubs and if he goes to an 84 buy him back for 1500 as a potential diamond candidate for the next roster update next up is byron buxton batting 339 with four home runs and eight doubles and an iso of 357 you can see his numbers right there he has low contact low power versus righties i can see him also go gold he is around gold price. You could still invest in him at 355 stubs if you guys think he's going to go gold. So honestly, he could be a slight risky buy or you could be selling right now for 534. And after taxes, that's still going to be above the 80 overall unless he hits that 81 overall. Could happen, but I'd be selling Byron Buxton. Next up is Carlos Correa, batting 304, five home runs, one double, an ISO of 348. He will also say he could be getting a fielding update. I don't know if that's true, but if it is true and he's getting a fielding update, he's definitely gold. And if they boost his power versus righties, I don't have his splits at the moment, but if he's hitting for those five home runs or so versus righties, that could definitely boost him up a little bit too. But at 793, that's going for around an 82 quick sell at 900. Not quite, though. He's in between an 81 and 82 quick sell. I would still be selling if you got him early on. I wouldn't really be buying, but he is a guy that you can possibly put in some pre-orders on and see if those, you can get those later on uh, in a couple weeks. Next up is Cade Smith. Now, I sold this guy quite a bit ago for like almost 600 stubs. I had a bunch of him, like 700 of him at one point. Honestly, I think it is time for him to finally go gold. I already sold him for a gold price, almost an 81 overall. But look at this guy. 10 innings pitched, 8 hits allowed, 3 earned runs allowed, 19 strikeouts, and a 10.1 innings pitch earning him a 16.5 Ks per nine. Absolutely destroying people. Also only has one walk in those 10.1 innings. That's where I see him going gold the most. 10.1 innings pitch, only one walk allowed. 66 walks per nine is just not good enough. They got to raise that. Kate Smith is going gold in this update, if I had to guess. And he is a minor like investment opportunity at 370 maybe he goes 81 so you can actually make a little bit more but i mean honestly i'd probably be buying some Cade smiths again and just hope that you know even if you'll go up to an 80 you're still making 30 steps per if he goes up to an 81 or 82 you're making some big profit once again on Cade smith so Cade smith honestly minor buy Next up is going to be Jackson Merrill. Um, at 640 stubs, I'd be selling for sure. I don't really know his split, so I can't say too much about him. I can just give you his stats, let you guys know. He's batting 286 since the last update. Two home runs, two triples, five doubles. Only an ISO of 195, so he's not showing a lot of power. However, if he's hitting well against those lefties... I don't know his splits, so you have to check his splits and see how he's doing against lefties or his power versus righties and or defense. He has 62 fielding, so maybe he is a fielding attribute uh, potential upgrade, and that's why his price is so high right now. That I do not know. I don't really do fielding, but at 640 
in my opinion, I'd be selling. Now, Brand Doyle, honestly, is either a sell or a hold for Diamond. Batting 345, 11 home runs, 6 doubles, and an ISO of 464. If you look at these numbers, his power needs to be boosted. His contact needs to be boosted. He's crushing the baseball. Give this man Diamond, to be honest. I'm holding mine, but uh, if you sell, because if he goes 84, you basically lose stubs. You would make more stubs right now by selling if he goes to an 84. However... If he goes to an 84, I still think he hits diamond. I got this card for 1,200 stubs. I'm willing to hold for a few roster updates and hope that he goes diamond. So, Brett and Doyle, for me, is a hold for diamond either the, to, tomorrow or in a future update. Next up is Devers. I did have a lot, a lot of Devers. However, I still do. Um... I'm hoping that he eventually gets a boost this season. I don't think it happens this update. I'm, I pray it happens, but honestly, Devers to me is a sell. Get rid of him. Put your stubs elsewhere. I got him for 600 stubs anyways. I got him literally quick sell value, so at 750, I could be selling and make a little bit of profit. I'm just hoping he doesn't get downgraded. I'm hoping that his contact can get boosted a little bit and go to an 82 or an 83. So if you want to hold with me and be hopeful, uh, you can hold, honestly. But I just don't have high hopes for him. But I don't feel like getting rid of him either. Because I every time I get rid of somebody, they go up. So I'm just going to hold him and see what happens. All right, next up is Jeff Hoffman. Eight in 8.2 innings pitch, two hits allowed, four walks a little high, but 16 strikeouts, earning him a 16.62 case per nine. His walks run is a little loud, a little high. Has not really allowed any home runs though, so it depends if he bo they boost his case per nine a little bit to get him to the next overall. I can see him potentially going to an eighty-two. However, he's selling for a thousand, so honestly, I'd be selling right now because he has potential to go eighty-two. He just doesn't have a lot of room to grow with the case per nine. He needs to limit walks to grow the most, so that's where he is going to be hurting for this roster update. Next up is Nick Pavetta. He had a terrible start in his last start. I had him at quick sell value. I quick sold him back and reinvested into somebody else. Nick Pavetta, definitely a sell. I'm only mentioning him because eventually I had him on my spreadsheet. He is no longer on there. He is a sell and quick and reinvest your stubs. Now, Tyler O'Neill's price is a little high because he did have two, I, I say two, two home run games. But in that span, that's his only home runs since the last roster update. So 282 average, four home runs, and three doubles, an ISO of 211. His contact versus righties, I don't know his split, but if he's hitting really well against righties, he could possibly go up. With a 282 average, he might be hitting decent against righties. So I could see him going up, but at 1,700 stubs, it's not, to me, a guarantee. I'd be selling for 17 for the chance that he might not go to an 84 overall. I don't think he hits diamond, but you never know. I've seen people hit diamond before. I said that didn't hit diamond, so we'll have to wait and see. Honestly, I don't I didn't invest in him. I don't have any of them. I'd be selling them for 1750. Next up, Paul Skeens. We don't even have to talk about this guy's numbers. He's going diamond. But at 4300, this is where you guys have to look at. For 4300 you could be selling him. If he does not go 87 and you don't sell him right now, you're losing stubs at 4300 If he goes 87 he quick sells for 4500 and you'll be guys will be making some stubs. So he has to get a plus four to be above the 4300 value that he is right now. And if you, of course, if you have like thousands of him, I don't. If you have thousands of him, then try to sell some of them and then hold the rest and then just hope that he goes 87 because selling all of them for 4,300 is going to be very, very hard for those orders to go through. And if you just like sell them for the 3,500, then you're only getting back 3,200. And I think he goes to at least an 86, which you'll be able to sell for 3,750 at a quick sell price. So for Paul Skeens, sell for 43 or wait and hold and quick sell for whatever price he goes up to. I'm expecting an 86 or an 87, to be honest, but it could be higher. 
Jack Flaherty, probably a diamond lock in my opinion. 17 innings pitched, eight hits allowed, four, three earned runs, two home runs, and five walks, 18 strikeouts, 9.17 Ks per nine, 2.5 walks per nine, one home run per nine. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think he deserves a boost in hits per nine and case per nine just slightly to get him to that 85 overall diamond. I am holding, hoping that he's a lock. I'm ho- I'm hoping that I can quick sell him for, for 3,000 stubs and we don't have to worry about the taxes or nothing. And that's what I'm hoping for. We got we got like 100 of them. Not, not a crazy amount there. But I'm holding on Jack. But if you, I wouldn't mind selling. I mean, it's always a risk to hold when you can get 3,200 minus taxes. You're still going to get around 2,900. So at the worst, you would lose if he goes diamond. You would lose like 100 steps per, which is not a lot. But you'd be guaranteeing a lot more if he does not go because if he does not go diamond, he's going to go back to 1,500 steps. So that's that's the risk and reward there. Uh, Christian Yellows, we had on our radar for a while, but he is hurt. He is basically probably out for the rest of the season. So he's definitely a sell and reinvest opportunity. We're not really going to go over his stats because, like I said, he's most likely out for the season. I don't think they're going to give him any type of update in this update because of that. If they do, that's crazy. And we missed out, I guess, if he goes diamond. But I just don't think they're going to do it. Christian Yelich, uh, definitely uh, get out and get in on someone else. Uh, also, Christian Walker got very, very cold, in my opinion. I think he did a home run the other night, though. Uh, in fact, I think it was last night. But he's gotten very, very cold, so I'm also out on Christian Walker. I would sell him as well, get rid of him, and reinvest somewhere else. All right, Francisco Lindor, though, 304 average, eight home runs, four doubles, with an ISO of 304. I think Francisco Lindor goes diamond this update. And I don't have I don't have any of them right now, but I do expect to put some pre-orders in on him. He could invest for 2800, but I think he is my primary pre-order candidate for this roster update and he does go diamond. So, if you guys got him, congratulations. If you don't have him, maybe some pre-orders as well on Francisco Lindor and expect a diamond come tomorrow for Francisco. And next up, possible investment opportunity. Maybe not this update, maybe a future update, but Teoscar Hernandez, you know, our home run derby king. 325 average, three home runs, and four doubles. Only an ISO of 163, but it's really the average we're kind of looking at right here. If he's hitting really good against righties, obviously his inside edge has gone up to a plus four. To an actually, I got in parallel too, so plus two to an 86 overall. So, if we can just get a contact boost with him versus righties, I think he can go diamond to an 85 overall. And I think he's honestly a decent investment opportunity right now. I just don't know if he's going to get this update. But if you guys want to take a gamble on anyone that we've mentioned in this video and buy, it'd probably be Teoscar Hernandez, to be honest with you. Obviously, for pre-orders for Francisco, but it's an actual buy right now. Might be might be Teoscar Hernandez. Uh, he's been hot lately for the Dodgers. He's uh, had some clutch home runs, a game-winning hit. Um, I uh, hopefully he stays hot, and if he doesn't go up in this roster update and one of the f- more final roster updates of the year, obviously because we're getting to the second half of the season, not many left. Hopefully he can hit that diamond mark before the end of the season. But anyways, that will do it for today's buy, hold, and sell for this roster update. If you guys did enjoy this video, like, follow, share, favorite the video, subscribe for new, comment down below what is your favorite investment for this roster update, how many of that player do you have, and I will see you guys in the next video.